terms. God, Lord, thank you for your mercy. I want you to appreciate him for life, for preservation, for protection, for provision, for everything he's doing, for the salvation of our soul. Father, we are grateful. 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 There is none like unto thee. Father, we say thank you. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord. I want us to quickly open our Bible to the book of Isaiah 7-7. Isaiah 7, 7. Isaiah 7, 7 says, Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that every conspiracy of darkness to stagnate and make my spiritual growth stunted. Lord, let it be destroyed, O oh God. Every conspiracy of darkness to make my spiritual walk, my spiritual life stunted. Lord, let it be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus' prayer. My Lord and my God, every power programmed to make our spiritual growth stunted, every power programmed to keep us small spiritually, we decree in the name of Jesus, be terminated, 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 be destroyed now, 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 be destroyed now. Every power, every forces programmed to keep us small, programmed to keep our spiritual life stunted, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. Be destroyed, 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 be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that Lord, every arrow fired against my prayer life be terminated now. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, every arrow fired against my prayer life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. Every arrow, every arrow fired against my prayer life be terminated, be destroyed. Go back to the sender. 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 Every arrow program, oh God, against my prayer life. Go back to the sender. Go back now. 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 Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Every arrow of prayerlessness, every spirit of prayerlessness, program against my marriage, program against my family, be destroyed. 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 In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that every attack against my fellowship in the place of the world, there are people who can pray for long but they don't have strength or patience to sit with the word of God. I want us to pray and tell the Lord, every power 
attacking my word life, attacking my fellowship with God, be terminated tonight. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Every power attacking my fellowship, attacking my word fellowship, attacking my word life, attacking my study of the word. Be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be terminated, be terminated, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroy every attack of the enemy, every conspiracy of darkness against my story life. Be destroyed, 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 be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that, Lord, baptize me tonight with fresh hunger for your word and for prayer. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Lord, baptize me tonight with fresh hunger for your word and for prayer. Baptize me tonight with fresh hunger for prayer, for your word. Baptize, Lord. Baptize, Lord. Baptize, Lord. Baptize me, baptize me, baptize me, baptize me, baptize me, baptize me, baptize me with fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger for your word, for your word, for your word. Baptize me, baptize me with fresh hunger for your word and for prayer, for your word and for prayer, for your word and for prayer baptize me baptize me baptize me baptize me baptize me with fresh hunger hunger for your word hunger for prayer hunger for your word hunger for prayer hunger for your word hunger for prayer hunger for your word baptize lord baptize lord baptize lord baptize lord baptize me baptize me baptize me baptize me baptize me with fresh Fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger, fresh hunger for your word, for prayer, for prayer, baptize, baptize, baptize in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray from the book of Isaiah 8, 9 to 10. Isaiah chapter 8, 9 to 10. It says, associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all ye of far countries. Guard yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and they shall come to naught. Speak the word, and they shall not stand. For God is with us. Brethren, I want us to pray and tell the Lord that, Lord, every evil association program to keep me down, to keep me in one position, to keep my life limited, Lord, we command them to scatter by fire. Every evil association from the heavenlies, from the waters, every association of darkness programmed to keep me down, programmed to keep me bound, programmed to keep me limited, programmed to keep me stagnated, scatter by fire. Pray in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Every forces of darkness, every pile of darkness, program, every association of darkness, program to keep me bound, program to bound me, program to keep me bound, program to keep me small, program to keep me limited, program to keep me stagnated, scatter, 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 scatter.
scatter, 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 scatter now, scatter now, scatter now, scatter in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed now, be destroyed now. Break to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces. Guard yourself, break to pieces, break to pieces. Every evil association of darkness programmed to keep me bound. Program to limit my destiny. Program to keep me stagnated. Be destroyed. Scatter now. Scatter now. Scatter now. Scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Scatter now. 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 Scatter. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray. I want us to open our Bible. To Psalm 2. Book of Psalm, Psalm chapter 2, from verse 1 to 12. He says, Why do the Eden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Brethren, if I want us to read from verse 2 again. It says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. If the enemy, if the devil can be thinking of how to dethrone God, if the enemy can have an agenda, a plan to bring the people of God, the anointed, brethren, please don't get too comfortable to think that there are no forces behind the scene that want you and I down. Verse, three say, verse 4 says, verse 3 says, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. He said, let us, meaning God will not do anything until man rises. He said, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the eel for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. <clears throat> When his wrath is kindled, but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Verse 9 says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. I want us to pray and tell the Lord, that Lord, every powers from my foundation, Every power from the heavens, every power conspiring against my advancement, conspiring against my glory, 
I command you to dash to pieces. I command you to break to pieces. Be destroyed by the rod of iron. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Every power, every power conspiring, every power conspiring that is gathering against your destiny, against your advancement, against your glory. Oh Lord, arise. We command you, be dashed to pieces. Be dashed to pieces. Be dashed to pieces, be dashed to pieces, every power, every forces gathering up against me, every forces planning against my family, planning against my marriage, planning against my destiny, hear the voice of the Lord, be dashed to pieces, be dashed to pieces, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroyed, 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 be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord. That every strategic move of the enemy to kill my prayer life, to kill my study life, Lord, let it be aborted. Whatsoever, whatever strategy the enemy has activated against my prayer life, against my study life, in order to attack me, in order to amputate me, Lord, let this strategic move be aborted. Be aborted. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Every strategic move of the wicked to kill my prayer life, to kill my study life, be aborted. 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 Every strategic move of the enemy. The Bible says, no weapon form or fashion against me shall prosper. Every power, every weapon of the enemy that has been activated against any one of us to kill our prayer life, to kill our study life, to kill our consecration, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed. Destroying us, every strategic move of the wicked. The Bible says, No weapon formed or fashioned, every weapon that has been formed, that has been fashioned to kill, to kill our hunger, to kill our hunger, to kill our prayer life, to kill our spiritual life, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroyed now, 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 be destroyed, 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 be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to quickly look into the topic of tonight. Our topic tonight says, what will you give back in return? What will you give back in return? As our topic for tonight, what will you give back in return? Brethren, I want us to understand and to establish that Life is a trade. Life is a trade. Meaning, for God to restore man back to his original position, God had to trade his only son. If you observe any aspect of life, be it spiritual, be it professional space, be it the market space, be it in business, 
you must trade something to get something. Brethren, unfortunately, the devil is also trading with us. How, what do I mean? The devil is using different strategy to trade our time for something else. Rather than trade those time we have for the things that will advance our spiritual life, the devil is using many things, many strategy. There, there's a lot of distraction in our world today. And we all are contending with the battle of trade. The battle of trade. What am I trading for? What have I traded with? Am I trading with my soul or am I trading with my mind? Our topic tonight says, what will you give back in return? If you look at the internet today, you know, some people call themselves blogger. Some people call themselves content creator. People are trading many things to get influence. People are, they don't care, even if they are families. They don't care what their family will think about them. They don't care what people who know them will think of them. All they care about is they are willing to trade their dignity to get fame. They are willing to trade anything at all costs to get money. Brethren, the same thing God in heaven had to trade his only son. I want us to quickly look at the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It says, What shall we then say to these things? Romans 8, 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his son, but delivered him up. I'm so sorry. 31 to, to 30, 32. 32 says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Brethren, even while yet we are living in sin, God gave his only son. He gave, verse 32 says, he that spared not is willing to trade them even though, even though we look like people that could not, that are not dependable, people that are not worth dying for, people that are not worth it from the point of the flesh, but because God knew whom he created in the beginning of the beginning, God told Jeremiah, I knew thee even before you were formed in your mother's womb. Brethren, while I was preparing, there was the topic on my heart tonight was hunger and thirst. And in the place of worship, about almost two hours before the meeting, the Holy Spirit changed it. And Holy Spirit began to speak to me. He said, for many, their love for God is dying at a fast pace. Their love for God is dying at a fast pace. It's dying quickly. Our heart is loving many things in this world more than we love God. Brethren, and if you look at what I said at the beginning, if I said something recently, I'm not sure if it was here. You see, they said, if you observe everything we do in this kingdom, 
What actually sustain the pile of faith? F A I T H. What sustain our faith in God is love. I'm telling you, there's a level of faith that only God, only, only love can keep you going. That is what we saw in the life of Abraham. Abraham, take your only son. God was even reminding him, your only son, the one you waited for for 25 years, your only son. Brethren, that is beyond faith. That is love. Because, you see, faith gets to a point where you believe, but when it gets to a time where you need to sacrifice everything, when you have no other option, no bank account, God is telling you zero, the money you are supposed to make for down payment to buy a house, the money you are supposed to use to be, you know, to do something, probably to pay for your school, something very significant. And God is saying, and you heard clearly, he says, so it as a seed to that woman who is homeless. Use it to do something, brethren, it takes, it takes love for God to obey. God is asking, I have given everything. The Jesus, the most precious to me. What are you willing to give back in return? I went on the cross. My son went through so much in pain. It was whipped, stripped naked for your sake and for my sake. I want us to look at another Bible reading. The same Romans, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans 5, 8. He says, But God, commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, brethren, I want you to think about it. How can this God died for a person who is still living in sin? Is very deep. How can you sacrifice your life for a person who is still living in sin? Now, the Lord has died for us, has restored us back. Now, He has washed us with His blood, given many of us a songwriter says, God gives give a second chance. But we all know that God is a God that gives multiple chances. We have received multiple, countless opportunities. The question the Lord is asking, what will you give back for his love for you? What are you willing to give in return? What are you willing to trade back to, 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 to show how much you love him. Brethren, I have been in different situations in my life, including the season I am now, that I, I almost wanted to make decisions in my own, because I'm human too. I want to do some things, like, you know, I want to, I want to advance, I want to do many things. And the Lord would be like, are you willing to be patient for me? Do you want to run your own race? Or you want me to guide you? Brethren, it takes love. It's like your relationship with a person, either with your wife or with your friends. It takes love to be patient, to listen. When you love someone, you are patient to listen. 
You don't, you don't just judge them. You don't just talk over them. You listen. You are patient. To, you are willing to come to spend quality time with them. Love always wants to communicate. Love always wants to fellowship. Brethren, when was the last time that you sat down? I never had a room to myself, a room that I can call mine until I was 24 years. I'm saying this to tell you, many of us in this nation, we are privileged to have a room to ourselves. And yet, the father has been in that room. He has been in your bathroom. He has been in your car waiting. When will you come? When will you come? Brethren, please, I want to encourage you. The Lord is not happy. I'm telling you, and it's not just with you and I. The Lord is not happy with the whole world on how we treat him. Think about this. Imagine a person committed murder and they said, the judge now said, based on this analysis, based on this proof and evidences, and based on mercy, we want you or someone to stand as a guarantor, to stand on your behalf, but they must pay $500 million. Supernaturally, your family disowned you. The family couldn't stand to stand for a person who committed murder. Now, someone, a stranger came, paid that money. And yet, that same person, those who want to have anything to do with the person who rescued them from a life sentence. That is how many child of God, that is how we treat God. If you watch The Passion of Christ, I'm not sure that movie is on YouTube. If you watch The Passion of Christ carefully, you will know that a lot God did to rescue you and I. Through the death and resurrection, his pain, our authority was restored. You see, in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, and God will visit Adam in the cool of the day. There was a relationship. There was a fellowship. There was a lifestyle that was being established between God and Adam. Jesus died so that that relationship can be reinstated. That relationship was restored by the reason of Christ's death and resurrection. The authority God gave Adam in Genesis 1.26, that authority was also restored. Brethren, I want us to quickly read 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, 9 to 11. 1 John chapter 4. He says, in this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son in the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Verse 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Brethren, I ask once again, what are you willing to sacrifice, 
to give in return. Have you ever seen anyone who is in relationship with a young lady or a man and they don't display the affection of their love through something? True love is affectionate. True love, you must, you, you see, and that's why I always say to people around me, Every time you get to a place of brokenness in worship, during praise and worship, and you begin to tell God how much you love him, brethren, that love will be tested. That love, you must prove it. Situation will come to prove how much you love him. I'm telling you the truth. God will make sure you prove it. Even Jesus had to prove his loyalty, it's a law for God. We saw it in Gethsemane. He was trying to negotiate. God, if possible, this cup could pass over me. Brethren, God tested the love of Abraham. God tested the love of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Brethren, what is the proof of your love for God? There's nothing wrong in confessing how much you love God. But can you prove it? God wants us, because you see, if we refuse to prove how much we love this God, then the way we live daily, guess what? A love that is not revealed through actions will die off in a short time. I'm going to repeat that again. A love or love that is not revealed through our actions, through our words, through the way we treat the person we, we confess that we love, that love will die off naturally in time. Brethren, we just saw here we never did anything. He loved us even when we didn't love him. And that is why we must continue to show love to all men. I'm telling you, either they are Buddhist, they are gay, they are lesbian, they are, they are smokers, they are strippers. You must show love. Love is a commandment. Association is a choice. You don't have to associate. Association means you're trying to be close to people who are living wrong. Association is a choice. But love, you must love all men. All men. All. Because God loved us the same. Brethren, I want to encourage you. Please. Please. Because you see, in my little walk with God, I've realized if we don't begin to display our love for God by the way we live, by the things we trade through sacrifices, trading your time to know him, trading your sleep to know him, trading your resources by buying books on vision, on prayer, on love for God, Brethren, in a short time, a believer, a Christian, who is not willing to trade anything for his love for God, guess what? That same believer will be the person to crucify God, crucify Christ on the cross again. Such believer will compromise a thousand times. I'm telling you. He will compromise. That's why when you see people in relationship who doesn't profess in words how much they love their partner, how much they appreciate their partner. My wife and I, we've been married now for eight years. Every day, every day. I just went out not too long ago. And when I came back, I had to say some words of appreciation to my wife. You must, you must, you must have, it must become an attitude, a lifestyle of appreciation. You see, appreciation is part of love. 
It must be an attitude. You must be conscious. Babe, thank you very much. I love you. You look very good. You must have a lifestyle of appreciation. How much you love. Because when a partner does not, if you don't appreciate your partner in action daily, believe me, I bet you, in a short time, psychologically, psychologically, your mind will begin, the mind of that partner will begin to drift towards another person. Most especially if someone else is talking to them behind. Please. And that is why sometimes people think God is, um, God is, um, how do you put it? Like um, a loved one more than the other. No. Two people gave their life to Christ. One is very nonchalant, not serious, not serious. Doesn't open the Bible. He only pray when there's problem. And another friend, that one, he sees God from the place of mercy, from the place of compassion. He continues to seek the face of God daily. His love for God keeps growing. And in five years' time, that one, God gives him a nation. God began to send him to nation. And the same brother, that gave his life to Christ with that same brother. That brother is still in the same position. He's still asking God, God, when will you come? And God is asking, I've been waiting for you to come. It is you heaven is waiting for. When will you rise? When will you rise? Brethren, what are you willing to trade to, to reveal your love for God? I want us to look at the book of James chapter 4, James 4, 8. James 4, 8. It says, draw nigh to God, and it will, it will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Brethren, one of the ways we reveal how much we love him, to create time, to draw near, you draw near, you spend quality time. Brethren, even Jesus, we saw it in the life of Jesus every time. We saw in the life of Daniel. The Bible says Daniel will open his window and pray three times every day. David, we pray seven times daily. I've never seen a person who truly loves a person, who loves their partner, or who loves their children, who doesn't spend time with them. Please, I'm begging you. When I was preparing this message, I was just crying like a baby because the things the Lord was telling me. You see, if you don't nurture love that is not nurtured, we die. Love that is not nurture, we die. Either, either spiritual love with God, either love in relationship, either love in marriage, either love in home, it will die. Please. You see, I said something recently to someone. A lot of people invest so much in relationship. But the moment they get into marriage, they stop investing. I've said this to people who come around me. If you think you are tolerating so much in your relationship, guess what? When you get into marriage, you must, you must buckle up. You must increase because you must be willing to tolerate more. If you are doing 10% in relationship, if you are not ready to do 50% more, that marriage will fail. It will fail. The same thing. That is why every time, you see, if you observe a new convert, God doesn't demand much. But the moment they began to love God more, they began to ask for more responsibility. The more you love your partner, the more you sacrifice for your partner. 
Love is always sacrificing. Love display is being displayed by sacrifice. You can't say, and you see, one of the indices of true love is revealed in pain, not really when things are peaceful. Your love for people, your love for your partner will be, real, will be revealed and tested when you are in pain with your partner. When your partner hurts you, that is when your love. Many times when we pray and it look as if God is not responding, that is when heaven wants to see, are you chasing God for money? Are you really chasing God? To be here to have children? Are you chasing God for marriage? Are you chasing God because you love God? Go and read the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 11. He said there were men that they, 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 God gave them many promises. Guess what? The Bible says they held on to that promises till death, till death, even though they never saw those promises. Every time I read that place, it touches my heart. It touches me. Today, we are all called the children of Abraham. A promise was given to him. But today, did Abraham saw everybody? No. But today, he can see everyone from heaven. Brethren, please, I beg you. And one of the reasons why I'm begging you, as a person who has gone through this process, who is still going through it, I tell you and I tell you and I kid you not, your love for God will be tested. It will be tested many, many, oh my God, multiple times. If you don't spend quality time now to build that love to be very strong, that is why one of the ways in relationship, human relationship, to keep your marriage very strong to keep your relationship with your fiancé very strong or your fans very strong is spending quality time. Quality time. Some people, they can be on the phone with friends for hours, for minutes. But they, can, they cannot even endure spending quality time with their partner. What kind of relationship is that? And these are red flags. I'm telling you, it's a red flag. A woman who cannot spend quality time with his man, and this is the person you want to marry, but you can be on the phone with your friends for hours. No, no. That is what we do to God. We spend time, we watch Netflix for hours. We spend time, we watch different TV shows. We, went, we go out, we go, you know, people go, people do many things. But the same God who is going to wake them up in the morning, we don't spend time. The same God who has your future, who has your purpose in his hand. Brethren, please, I'm begging you. Sit down. I want you to reevaluate again. How am I spending my life? Who am I really spending? The Lord asked me a question a few weeks ago. He said, do you know every day People share my life, this life that I give them. They share it with many people, but they don't share that life with me. They share the life I give them. They will share it with many people, with social media, with TV, with many things, with, with drunkenness, with, with wayward lifestyle, with many things, but they don't share that same life with me. Brethren, please, please, your future, my future, our faith. And you see, you, you and I will not be able to build a strong faith if we don't have a strong relationship with God now. I'm telling the truth. If you don't build a strong faith now, brethren, it will affect and you will raise your family. Because when the enemy strike in marriage in the future, 
you can only, only react from the things you have stored in your heart. The Bible says in Psalm 109, your word have I stored in my heart that I may not sin against you. I want us to quickly look at the book of Amos. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos 3, 3. Amos 3, 3. Amos 3, 3 says, can two walk together except they be agreed? I said something at the beginning. God wants us to be restored back to that walk. There was a walk God started with Adam and God is still calling. Who are those who are ready to walk with me? Who are those who are willing to walk with me? To go on a journey with me? Every time we talk about Enoch, Enoch had to make an interact. Oh my God. Brethren, please, tonight's meeting, I want you to take a few minutes. Meditate. You see, one of the things that touches me the most is there's nothing wrong in being successful in life. There's nothing wrong in chasing success. There's nothing wrong in you know, spending time with people we love. But a day will come you and I will stand before he who sent, who sent us and you will realize that many of us we have spent 90% of our life to chase what is less important. What is less important? Brethren, please I beg you, sit down. Reevaluate your life again. You were sent. You were not born. Even though you came through the womb of a woman, you were sent. You came on an assignment. You were sent. I want that to continue to ring in your mind. You were sent. That was why you were not given the privilege to choose the, the nation where you will be born. You were sent. You were not given the privilege to choose the family where you will be born. You were sent on an assignment. We are on a pilgrimage journey. We are on a journey. Don't live as if this world is where it all ends. Rapture might happen tonight. What would you say back to the one who sent you? Say, how can two people walk together except they agree? How can you say, how can I say I love God? How can I say I'm a Christian? I'm a true believer, yet I'm not in agreement with God. I'm not working with God. Lastly, I want us to read the book of Proverbs 23, verse 26. Proverbs 23, 26. Proverbs 23, 26. Proverbs 23, 26 says, My son, keep me in thy heart and let thy eyes observe my ways. My son, my sister, my brother, the Lord has given us everything unto life and to godliness. First Peter, now the Lord is asking, Are you willing to give me in return your heart? All I need is your heart. Give me your heart. And I will give you myself. My son. My daughter. My sister. Give me your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Because in this journey, we journey, God journey through men, through the heart. And let me tell you something. As, as we round up, brethren, I listen to a lot of mentors a lot. Many of us might never hear the voice of God audibly. Guess what? You hear more, more the voice of God in your mind, in your heart. But you cannot hear this thing if you don't have an intimate relationship with that man because those information are classified information. 
even though it's called revelation, but revelation are classified, and you don't disclose classified information to, to someone who is not an insider. I want us to pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, thank you for your grace. We ask for strength. Strength to seek your presence. The strength to stay. Lord, we cut off every distraction. Every distraction program against our lives. Lord, let them be cut off in the name of Jesus. Lord, encounter us tonight. Encounter us tonight. Visit us tonight. Lord, I decree direction. Open our eyes of understanding. Open our eyes of understanding. For someone here who has, who has, you have, you have gone astray from God. I decree restoration. I decree restoration. Let your prayer life be restored. I disconnect you from wrong association. I disconnect you from wrong association. Let your hunger for God be restored. Let your passion for God be restored. Let your fire for God be restored. Let your fire be restored. Let your fire be restored. In the name of Jesus, I decree fresh grace. Fresh grace, fresh grace, fresh grace, fresh grace. But I let the name be exalted, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. Um, I want to sincerely apologize to everyone that we couldn't meet last Sunday because of the Garden of the Eagles. And just to inform every one of us, we won't be meeting for the Garden of the Eagles for September, which is in two weeks from now because I'm going to be using this September to seek the face of God, you know, for this assignment. Please bear with us. Tell your family and friends. We're going to be coming back to recharge in October for the Garden of the Eagles. We're going to meet on this platform next Saturday. Please, I want you to go to church, go to bed tonight, hunger for God. Lord, this is the eighth month. Today, today, tonight, mark the last day we will never see August again. Tomorrow start a new month. Lord, help me to finish this year on a strong note. Help me. Please go to church on that tomorrow. Go with a sense of direction. Lord, send me my own word. Send me. Let this year begin to hear clearly. Help my mind to understand things that are deep. Let my ears begin to hear. Let my eyes begin to see. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Thank you.